Uh, what else makes for a special atmosphere in, in the therapeutic dyad? Well, it's the presence of the analyst, your presence. What does that mean? It's, uh, it's you're bringing a certain sensibility or a certain attitude uh, where you're creating a, a, reflect, a reflective space or a frame for which things can be uh, explored. But before they can be explored, I mean, most people just don't come in and start talking about their most, you know, deep, dark secrets and the, the, the most painful aspects of their life without feeling comfortable with you. So it's incumbent upon the therapist to create a relational space where there's a certain holding environment, to borrow Winnicott's term, um, this psychic environment, um, this atmosphere that we create. This is sacred space, my, my consulting room. It is, it's a space that cannot be replicated out in the real world. It is where people have the permission to go there that they don't allow themselves to go in, in, in any other aspects. Um, so this psychic environment that we create, it, it's, it's conducive for this non-intrusive, non-judgmental, you know, exploration of one's internal world. This is what, once you model the way you work, the way you, your, your orientation toward life, your treatment philosophy, once this is, once this is laid out for a patient, then they, they can at least have some grounding of, of what to expect. 